everybody, welcome to Archives Live, um, Lockdown Edition. Not that that changes much, but <laughs> if you are not familiar with Archives Live, let me explain it to you. Every Thursday at 2.30, we come together in the archives, in the basement of the library, and we go over local history of a random choosing. How is it chosen, you might ask? Well, there's a couple of different ways that we do this. The first way is you're going to pick a number between 1 and 10, and that will choose the cabinet that we're going to be going into today. It could be anything at all. Once that's chosen, then we're going to go ahead and pick another number, which will tell us what file we're going to be looking at. It could be anything from photos to uh, histories to um, pamphlets to anything. So in order to start, what you need to do first is pick a number between 1 and 10 and put it in your comment box below or to the side wherever it is on your device. So go ahead and put that in. While we're waiting for you to put some numbers in to the chat, I would like to also let you know that if you have archives requests, we are still fulfilling them. You're able to submit them to library, L-I-B-R-A-R-Y at CochranOntario.com. Forgive me, my brain is a little frozen after lunch. So you would just email us your request. If you're looking for a marriage, death, uh, birth notice, you're able to look at that index on our website, www.cochranepubliclibrary.com. You're going to click on services, archives, and then you're going to see that there is a database with surnames. So you go by your last name and you would pick what you're looking for, then email that to us and we'll be able to get that to you. There's also another filing database that's available on there if you're trying to just do research on random things. Is it everything that we have in archives? No, but it is a very good portion that we have already set up. So those are some of your options. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and type something into the chat. So if you have any questions during this, go ahead and put them in the chat box. Again, just need a number between one and 10 to start us off. Do not be shy. You have nothing else to do right now. It's a lockdown or stay at home order, sorry. Stay at home order. Yes, so question was posed in the comment box as to will we be completing archives requests during the stay at home order? Yes, we will. So this is the perfect time for you to start researching your family history, maybe need some help with that. Perfect time to do it. And we are here to assist you in any way that we can. And yeah, that's, that's pretty easy. Okay, so we are in filing cabinet number one today again. So good choice, I guess people really like the, the crime kind of thing. Uh, that doesn't mean that's what we're gonna get. There's all sorts of stuff in miscellaneous. I need a number between one and 50, please. So go ahead and toss in a number between one and 50. Anne is asking, if you get the same file as before, will you read it? Uh, probably not. Uh, we've done a few of these now, so I think we would know if we hit the same information again. Um, it hasn't happened. It could very well happen today, maybe. I, I'm doubtful for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if it was something we've already, I would just skip that file. Okay, we got a number. So go ahead and continue to put your questions and your numbers into the comment box below, and I will get to them. If we have time today, I will definitely do another file, but I'm going to go pick file number 36 was the number. Number 36. Da, 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 da. I'm back. Click like that, right? Oh, hi, Scott. Hi, Jamie. Okay, the file that number 36 that we picked is actually entitled Community Choir. And within here, we've got 1976 Northland Post, 
uh, choir and concert. A portion of the Cochrane Community Choir lift their voices in song during the first portion of the group's concert last Wednesday evening. Dressed in costumes of, the, of early Canada, the choir sang songs representative of each region of the country. That's a very nice picture. Do you know some of those people? Let's see if I get my fingers out of there. And remember that after Archives Live is um, submitted to Facebook, you can go back and you can always pa pause the video to view these images and you can qu request them as well. Very nice. This one says, mopping up with their mops raised on high, the sailors chorus from the Cocker Community Choir emphasize the point that there ain't nothing like a dame. <laughs> the song and dance routine was part of the South Pacific portion of the concert given on May 26th at the high school. And I'm assuming I'll have to look at the other sheet. Doesn't have my year on here, but probably on the other, the note sheet that I have. Hi, Scott. I hope you're doing good. Definitely, uh, definitely a different day to day. You would think with a stay at home order, it would be a little bit less busy in town, but not so much. This is from 1978, Northland Post, and it's Lads and Lassies. Uh, outfitted with kilts and... Sorry. Outfitted with kilts, the members of the Cocker Community Choir entertained an appreciative audience on May 3rd at the high school. The choir presented the annual spring concert, which featured, in words and music, the story of uh, Brigadoon. Brigadoon. The evening of music featured guest appearances and... A, member of, a number of French songs prior to the review. And then it shows the person who is directing is Yvonne Leverett. I'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong. Uh, but they named him specifically because his back is to the camera. I'll put my head behind here so that it's not gonna... It's a beautiful picture. I'm sure there's many people who are part of the community choir that are very much missing that. So shout out to the community choir. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is from June 9th, 2006. 30 years of musical memories. And I'm not going to read the entire thing, but it says on May 21st, the Cochrane Community Choir celebrated... Uh, 30 year anniversary with the musical memories of 1976 to 2006 and I'll just show you the picture it's quite a large article but a very gorgeous picture that's good Scott I'm glad you're doing good very nice picture and in 1996 they were celebrating 20 years and still singing loud and clear. Cocker Community Choir members gear up for their 20th anniversary celebra celebration on May 18th. The choir plans to meet Monday nights to rehearse selections for the anniversary concert. And if I'm not mistaken, there's Mrs. Desvito in here. You'll have to look and see who the members are. Put that a little bit closer for you to have a look at. If you happen to know who these people are, if uh, you do know any of the individuals that are pictured, go ahead and feel free to tag them in this video, share this video to them. It's always great for people to be able to see the history. And in the same article, they talk about that there used to be a, a glee club, which to me, that's fabulous. It does show the complete listing of all the names of the people who were part of the Glee Club and a beautiful picture. Gorgeous. Gorgeous picture of everyone who was part of that Glee Club back in 1948. Which, that's, I just love the way people dressed. Just gorgeous. Okay, from the 1996 Community Choir uh, 20th annual spring concert. It was called Let's Celebrate. We have a brochure, a little booklet for it. And it does tell you all the members of the back. So the members, Sopranos, there was uh, Blood Zinn Carrier, Giselle DeCevito, Teresa De Joseph, Linda Gravel, 
Betty Lavasar, Minnie McKay, Wynn McKay, Lena Michaud, Madeline May, uh, Betty Ann Ouellette, Bev Perrin, Curry, uh, Dorothy Parisi, uh, Beatrice Post, Helen Spegashi. I'm going to say that so bad and I'm so sorry already. That, like, even as it was coming out of my mouth, I'm like, that's horrible. Sapinski? Sap Sapinkins? No. Helen, I'm sorry. Um, then there's Kim Taylor, Gwyneth Wilcox, Dorothy Bright. Tenors were Tony DeJoseph, Larry Kuzner, Jim Little, uh, Peter Nash, and Altos. Arlene Braids, Mary Buckles, Diane Denno, Kay Fasano, Kelly Gordon, Janet Gray, Marg Hackett, Nancy Irving, Beth Ludix, uh, Ruby Ludix, Sharon Martin, Barbara Malacon, Moria Cizal, Bass was Rob LeFive, Doug McKay, Jean-Paul Perron, Jack Radcliffe, and Rick, uh, Rick Whirl. Backup musicians, Dave Whirl, Ben Tedesco, and Bob Brains. And then it's it's really nice. It's got all everything that they were doing. Very detailed. Okay, and then we have another one here. The History of the Cochrane Community Choir, written by Gwyneth Shirley, 1976 to 1996. It is very nice. It is a book, a little booklet, very well put together. And let's see here. The introduction in it is from May 1996. It says, I'm honored to be the president of the Cochrane Community Choir, especially at this time. Since joining the choir a few years ago, I found nothing but friendship, love, and laughter, and I'm so proud to be with this group. I want to thank Beth Lodox for her and her community members and outsiders for the hard task of putting this reunion concert program together. Gwyneth Shirley for the history of the choir since 1976. A special thank you to all of those who took time to travel long distances to be with us and to, to take part in our activities. I wish the Cocker Community Choir long life and I would invite a younger generation to please join in and help carry the tune. There is peace of mind when you're singing, especially singing with brothers and sisters from your community. Jean-Paul Parent, President. Um, so, it is a very detailed history, which is wonderful because we always love to know those things. Now, here's my favorite thing. People think I'm cheesy when I do this. Hi, Jessica. Sorry if I'm missing any of the, the comments. Hi, Joanne. My cheesy thing, whenever there's a book or a program, what I do, probably somebody else out there does it too. I go to the very back. And I look at the advertisements for the businesses. I did this with everything since I was a young kid. I even did this with yearbooks. Right away, I go, everybody else is looking at pictures of people. And, oh, look at him. He's so funny, whatever. And I'm going to the back to look at the business advertisements. Why, I don't know. I just find it interesting. Um, especially when things become older. And then you're like, that business doesn't exist. I remember where that was. So in this program specifically, we've got Guardian Drugs, Wallace's, and we've got Caprice Fashion Trends for Men. That one's not been around for a while. Alan's Home Hardware, Johnson's TV and Appliances. Then we've got Central Service Station, Esso, Northland Post. We've got Smith's Funeral Home, J.A. Briesel and Sons, R&G Variety. I get so excited about that stuff. Uh, and then we've got Co-op, Cochrane Co-op, established in 1945. Uh, R.M. Smith's Furniture, Home Building Center, HMS Rent-A-Space, ironically enough, Guy's Photo Center, who in uh, a lot of these places don't really exist too much anymore. So that is really cool to look at. Okay, now this is uh, a sheet for people to actually register for the choir to go. Very nice. This is for their, their 20th anniversary. We've got the original sheets from the, the spring two th uh, 1996 concert. So they're all the original sheets. 
Uh, this one is more history of different who was in different concerts. So this goes from 1976 all the way to 1996, and it's all completely written out with all the names, which is, that's very good part of history. And we got a bigger one here. This is from the Northland Post, uh, 1997. The sound of music is in their hearts. And long ago, someone said they would only last five years remarked Gwyneth Shirley, one of the original members of the choir. And this is when they did The Sound of Music. Very, very interesting. But I'll show you some of the pictures because I, I think you guys really enjoy that. Sorry about the lighting. Again, if you know anyone who are, anyone who's in these pictures, anyone who is, um, you know, perhaps related to these people, feel free to tag them in the video or show them. Okay. I'm gonna put this aside because there's something on the back that I would like to actually show because I believe I know who did it. Okay. And the last thing in this file is from 1997, December 12th, Community Choir sing songs of the season. So the St. Paul's Gospel Quartet were on hand for the Christmas concert of 1997. Doug McKay, Rick, Rick Whirl, Jamie Kidd, and Dave Whirl sing songs for the season. And then they show other people as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of these pictures. So again, forgive the lighting. And you're more than welcome. You can pause the video to be able to, to see these photos for longer. Okay. Very beautiful pictures. Now, something that I saw in the back of one of these. Marty Woods is a very talented um, artist. She does many things, but she's got gorgeous artwork that she does, and she does cartoons. And this cartoon is in the, it's an opinion piece from the 1997 uh, Northland Post. And I'm not, it's very possible it's not her who drew this. But I have to say, it looks remarkably like some of the stuff that she's done. So yes, no, come of Chivo, on strike, protest, want, uh, want consistency, no alterations, no size change. Well, why not? Everyone else is doing it. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Um, so I just wanted to show you this. <laughs> It's more for my benefit than it is for yours, but hey. And if somebody wants to tag Marty in here, she probably would know more, but very similar to stuff that she draws. Okay, that is the complete file for Community Choir. There are other Community Choir files in the filing cabinet. This was just number 36 that we picked. Thank you very much for joining us for Archives Live. I hope you are all very safe and snug at your homes or working from home, whatever your safety measures are during a stay-at-home order. And remember that we will be back here Thursdays, 2.30, for more Archives Live. If you have archive requests, please feel free. You can send them to us in a variety of methods. You can email us, library at cochraneontario.com. You can call us, 705-272-4178. You can visit our website for further information as well. So that website again is www.cochranepubliclibrary.com. Services tab, archives. Uh, I know I spelt the name wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you, Debbie. So yeah, those are the different ways that you can put your archives requests in. If you have archives requests in with us, we are completing them as fast as we can. Please bear with us. We're trying our best. And yeah, we will see you here next week for Archives Live. If you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to put them on this video and we will answer them or just submit them to us in the different ways that I mentioned. Okay, have yourself a safe first day of the stay-at-home order. There's no way to make that sound pleasant, is there? Remember, we're still open for curbside. <laughs>